Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. My name is Daisy. In today's video, I will show you how to sublimate pictures onto aluminum panels. This is a unique and elegant way to display your special memories, such as weddings, vacations, birthdays, and many more. For this project, you will need aluminum panels. I will be sublimating pictures on Koala 8 by 10 inches aluminum panels. These ones are special for sublimation. They also come in different sizes, 5 by 7, 8 by 10, 11 by 17, and 18 by 12 inches. To print the pictures, you will need a printer with sublimation ink. I will be using my Epson EcoTank printer with sublimation ink. If you would like to learn how to convert an Epson EcoTank into a sublimation printer, look for the tutorial on my channel. I will link it in the video description down below. Also, you will need sublimation paper. I will be using ASAP sublimation paper. Heat resistant tape, butcher paper, and to transfer the pictures onto the aluminum panels, you will need a heat press. I will link all the supplies used in this tutorial in the description down below. I will start working on the photos that I will be sublimating on the aluminum panels. For this, I will be using the free graphic design program, Inkscape. If you would like to learn how to use Inkscape for sublimation printing, I invite you to look for my tutorials on my channel. I'm going to link them in the video description down below. Download the program, open it, go to File, and click on Document Properties. This window will pop up. There, you can select the size of the document you wish to print. I'm going to select letter size and landscape. To insert the pictures, click on File and Import. Open the folder where you have the picture, select it and open it. Here, click OK. This is a high resolution picture, that's why it looks big. Select it and resize it. Go to the size bar and change it to inches. Click on the lock to lock it and resize it to your liking. My aluminum panel measures eight by 10 inches. So this picture is going to be eight and a half by 10 and a half inches. Half an inch extra on each side. And I will center it on the letter size page. Once you have the picture ready, click on File, Print, select the printer you wish to use, click on Preferences. On Paper Type, you're going to select Premium Presentation Paper Matte. On Quality, select High. Select Print Preview if you wish. Go to More Options. And here is very important to select mirror image, especially if you are printing text. Click OK, then print. This is the print preview. If everything looks OK, click on print. Like I mentioned at the beginning, to print my pictures, I will be using my Epson EcoTank ET15000 printer with sublimation ink. Don't worry if your printing come out pale. Remember, sublimation ink activates with heat. You will see after pressing that the colors are going to turn vivid and bright. Now I'm going to place the picture onto the aluminum panel. Before placing the picture, remove the plastic film on both sides of the aluminum panel. Place the picture facing the white side of the aluminum panel. Secure the picture using heat resistant tape. Mm -hmm. 
When pressing, you're going to need a big piece of butcher paper. Fold it in half and place the panel in between. I will press it at 385 degrees Fahrenheit for 60 seconds. When pressing, make sure the panel is on the bottom. It's ready. Let's reveal the sublimated aluminum photo panel. It turned out beautiful. These aluminum photo panels are perfect to display your most precious memories, such as weddings, birthdays, vacation pictures, and many more. Remember to check the description down below, since there I'm going to link all the supplies used in this tutorial. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and please don't forget to support my channel by subscribing, liking, commenting and by pressing the notification bell. Thank you for your visit and I'll see you in my next tutorial.